the report uh, basically indicates that the given the fact that there is a there are a climate change induced catastrophes in uh, uh, yemen which may lead to uh, fresh kind of conflicts in fact the report says there has already been a, 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 a kind of record in yemen where due to the water scarcity due to the uh, uh, struggles over the fertile land has led to uh, thousands of people being uh, uh, killed in the past so it means that if these climate uh, led catastrophes are not controlled or there are not effective measures taken to deal with them this will lead to fresh uh, set of conflicts in the country there has been progress in the larger region towards ending the 9 year old saudi led war in yemen however a fact sheet jointly prepared by cipri the stockholm international peace research institute and the norwegian institute of international affairs notes that to achieve a meaningful peace yemen will also need to deal with the catastrophic impact of climate change along with the repercussions of the war and conflict for this the country requires increased international support the primary concern of the report is uh, the prospect of peace in yemen uh, at, as it is well known that due to the uh, uh, negotiations in recent days there is a greater uh, uh, prospect of peace in the in country it is expected that the yemen uh, saudi led war in yemen will end soon uh, but will that lead to peace the war in yemen which started after the invasion of the saudi led international coalition in 2015 has created the world's worst humanitarian crisis according to the united nations yemen has over 4.5 million internally displaced people and over 80% of its total population of over 34 million is facing some level of food insecurity according to the un more than 21.6 million yemenis will be dependent on some kind of humanitarian aid in 2023 the war and blockade have killed hundreds of thousands of yemenis and destroyed basic civilian infrastructure such as water supply health systems schools and other basic governance systems in the arab world's poorest country in one example the fact sheet states that yemen was making slow and steady progress in the human development index between 1990 and 2015 This progress has not only stopped but has been reversed since the war. Climate change and environmental degradation are adding to the problems. According to the fact sheet, the mean annual temperature in Yemen is expected to increase by 1.2 to 3.3 degrees Celsius by 2060, leading to large-scale changes in the country's climate with irregular patterns of rain. The report notes that though the causal relationship between climate change and conflict is not linear or predetermined there are multiple pathways through which climate change interacts with political social and environmental stresses to compound existing vulnerabilities and tensions uh it, it talks about how uh, yemen is already one of the worst affected uh, countries in the world uh, in terms of water scarcity in terms of fertile land and uh, uh, because of this geographical location and because of the uh, climate change uh, it has already been impacted by uh, repeated uh, droughts and uh, floods so the the rain is erratic uh, uh, and the uh, uh, and the greater possibilities of drought in the country and this will uh, basically in a country which is uh, more than 34 uh, million people uh, strong uh, and other lack of other employment opportunities predominantly agriculture being the source of employment that can create further struggles conflict within the groups in uh, in yemen uh, over the land scarce land and scarce water resources apart from that the 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 report also indicates that the uh, climate led uh, uh, catastrophes uh, rain droughts etc and uh, the competition over resources which it creates can has have can have and is already having very uh, negative impact on vulnerable groups like women uh, uh, girl child and uh, uh, the, the small set of uh, refugees which are there in yemen which came from ethiopia and uh, other african countries 
uh, due to the conflicts there they will have an impact, negative impact because uh, the Yemenis themselves are not able to deal with the, their own uh, livelihood issues, their own economic issues, so that can impact them. The climate catastrophe in 2022 affected over 510,000 people directly and intensified the humanitarian crisis, which led to a 93% increase in displacement. Internally displaced Yemenis are particularly vulnerable to extreme weather and natural hazards which can cause secondary displacement. For instance, in 2020, over 230,000 people had to be resettled due to their camps being flooded. Uh, the, at the end of it, the report also talks about uh, the greater need of addressing the climate-related uh, uh, issues. Uh, in uh, in Yemen and it therefore it appeals to the global community and particularly to the UN to basically help the Yemenis to deal with uh, uh, the climate uh, uh, situation and that can not be addressed of course it, uh, by the Yemenis themselves given the fact that it is one of the poorest countries in the world has been impacted by the conflict uh, and war for longer period uh, and therefore uh, does not have the expertise does not have the resources to deal with the climate crisis, which is of course created by, not by the Yemenis, of course, uh, it is created by the global, uh, larger uh, uh, world, uh, larger world, and therefore it needs the collective effort of the world community to deal with the climate crisis in Yemen.